All right, this is the uh, VRS GT Sprint race at Spa, 40 minute race, uh, required pit stop, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I am car number 28 in a 28 car field, which means I have the lowest I rating of all the cars on the track. Managed to qualify P15, um, and uh, so that's not so bad. Um, I don't think that that's in positive I rating zone quite yet, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, probably gonna be pretty aggressive, so big chore is going to just be keeping my nose clean and uh, making sure that I finish the race. Um, so we'll see how we do. This is of course in prep. Uh, tomorrow uh, Schadenfreude Fodder has uh, the big 24-hour race at Spa. Starts at a bright and early 5 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time and uh, should be should be a fun event. Um, that's with Rob Cottle, Jeff Williams, and Jeff Rosenthal, and of course myself uh, participating in that. We'll each do about six hours of driving um, and uh, across the 24-hour period here at Spa. Um, so a lot of fun. Should be fun. This, I think, race goes into darkness um, towards the end, so that'll be kind of fun. That's the adventure here at Spa is uh, keeping sight of your uh, braking markers and turn-in points in the dark on some of the spots on track, especially the high-speed sections. Um, precarious um, under the best of circumstances, and at night is especially uh, dangerous if you uh, lose sight of what you're doing or lose focus. So Lots and lots of practice for this one, um, and looking forward to uh, seeing how we do. The track temp is 71. The air temp is 69 Fahrenheit, 40 minutes. Follow car number zero, 08 in the left column. Short parade lap. We must be among professionals. They're zigging and zagging trying to warm up their tires. So he'll be nice and tacky to drive right into the back of whoever's in front of him, which should be fun. Okay, Chip, are you ready? Watch for the lights. Why you break on that corner so much? God damn it! That's the most ridiculous start I've ever seen. A man's got to know his limitations. Not the way I wanted to start that thing. There's an incident in Radion. It looks like Mercer. crash before the race starts.
Why you cut, man? Why? Fucking bitch. There's an incident in the chicane. We think it might be Gomez. I'm on your side and you cut at me, man. So I think my car's a little damaged, but... There's an incident in La Source. Looks like it's Gomez. V19. Isn't so badly damaged that it's not drivable. Yeah, I'd like to plug the water. I'm supposed to hold for 26 seconds, I don't know where. Damn it. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna Looks kill like that Lamborghini. Let's see. Sorry for that, guys. The one that needs to die is the Red Bull McLaren. Alright, Chip. The next car is Barry. He completely broke my car. Yeah, Nishita. What a bad start. Jesus. This thing is a pig. The gap to Barry ahead is increasing. It's now 1.7.
fastest lap of the race. Good two seconds off my normal pace here. I mean, I'm not brutally fast, but I'm a lot faster than this. This is sad. I suppose this is good character building uh, for driving a broken race car, right?
Incident in turn nine. So Barry in front is now 4.1. is open. One is quick. I would not call that quick. <laughs> Guess everything is relative at this point, right? fuel left. The gap to Barry ahead is now 1.2 seconds. It's in the pit, heads up. There's an incident in Eau Rouge, B13.
Chip. You're reeling. Barry. In. The cap's now. 4.9. I'll give you some space. I took arrow damage in the beginning. Some idiot hit me. Sorry, I've had terrible pace. Incident in the chicane. We think it might be Barry. Barry ahead is pitting. remaining you've got 20 minutes left we're halfway home we think about 10 minutes of fuel remaining the gap in front is increasing it's now 13 seconds there's an incident in Befania looks like it's Saravia Sector 2 time is good. There's an incident in Eau Rouge. It looks like Barry. Front is increased to 4.9. 
14 seconds. This track is so long that if you get in a bubble like this, it gets really lonely quick. Okay, Chip. 15 minutes left. I'll expect that for the next. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 16 seconds. It's disheartening. Take the inside. Estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. in Eau Rouge. We think it might be on Calvez. The gap in front is now 16 seconds. Something can feel very positive, Jim. The leader, Tom, is pitting. Box, box. The car in front 
just pity. Speed limit is 37 miles per hour. Okay, Chip, we'll pull you to the end. One gallon remaining. That was weird. One hundred feet. Okay. Five and a half minutes of optional repairs. <laughs> Exit's clear. Push. Why does the car feel more broken than it did when I went in? Alright Chip, 10 minutes to go, that's 10 minutes left. Don't think about the lap times, just hit each and every apex. I believe I'm still in 12th place. How many laps in this race? Barry, he's closing in. The gap is now. 14 seconds. Thank you.
Okay, Chip. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Well, nice way to look at the bright side of things. I may be slow, but at least I'm consistently slow. Hey, Saliva. Bro, let me pass, please. Minutes to go. Five minutes left. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have no feel. Incident in the chicane. It looks like it's a raven. Thank you. Incident in Lacoon. It's just sad. <laughs> Barry is getting closer. The gap is now 12 seconds. help from the guys up front I'm not gonna catch them and I don't think that Barry has enough to catch me 
with the amount of time that's left. He is outpacing me, obviously, but, uh... That's two minutes left. Two minutes. I don't think that he has enough to... Unless I do something stupid. Unless I give him help. So we will try to not do that. Wasn't for position though, back marker. It's okay. Poor guy's having a rough race. Poor her. Poor. Okay, Chip. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. And Barry is slowed down behind me. I got him stave at 12 seconds back. So he either ran into some issues or just slowed down. Preserve his race where it is. on Calvers. Very little fuel left. Plenty of fuel left, Jim. I 
All right, Chip. The next car is that silver. <laughs> Two minutes to go. Two minutes. No. This is the last lap, Jim. <laughs> All right. P11. Well done, mate. Good finish. All right. Not the most graceful of uh, race starts that I've ever participated in. Um, I'm not really sure what happened in front of me. Um, the guy was kind of distracted doing his little zigzag thing and looked like we were moving coming out of the chicane. It was unusual for our cars to stop at that point unless something happened up ahead of us. Um, regardless, I wasn't prepared for it. I didn't give enough room. I wound up uh, hitting him. Surprised the guy behind me who hit me, guy behind him hit him, and so on and so forth. It was a nice accordion effect that I wound up getting completely turned around and uh, wound up uh, starting DFL. Um, <laughs> well, not exactly DFL. There were some people that ejected right away and bailed out, but I was uh, the very, very back of the remaining running pack there. And uh, just through attrition, managed to pick my way through um, with a very slow pace, very damaged car. I think that the the uh, the frunk was <laughs> was gone. I think that the car was pretty much toast. Um, I was car 28, which was the last car in terms of I rating in this group, which meant finishing anywhere above 28 probably. Fine. Um, mount, wound up uh, starting 15th, uh, again fell back, um, made up ground, um, and finished P11. Um, my average lap time um, was 224.043, which includes the pit stop, which is like a 311, something like that. Um, best lap time was 220.075, and I was bouncing right around the low 220s the entire race. So I was making the best of a bad situation and just trying to drive as consistently as I could. All that being said, um, lost a little bit of safety rating because of the four points I took um, up front uh, of the race. I had one additional off track through the race. Gained 30 in I rating, though, by finishing 11th, which I'm not going to complain about at all. Um, according to the information here, it says that this was split four. It's always hard to rely on this. It's probably somewhere around there, um, but next to bottom split, split um, with a 1562 strength of field in this one. So um, not bad. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm going to um, have a little food and rest a little bit, and <laughs> I'll probably do some more practice with the guys uh, before calling it a night. But this was fun. Um, I wish it had started off a little bit better, but you know, you can't uh, cry over spilled milk and all that. You got to make the best of a bad situation. And if nothing else, um, it proves that uh, if you stick with it and even hanging out with a car that is dead ass slow, if you just drive your race, um, let it come back to you, you can improve your situation and, and come away with a, a decent enough finish to hang your head pretty high. Jim even complimented me at the end, and that's unheard of. He never compliments your driving at the end of a race unless you finish in the top 10 or better. So um, feel vindicated <laughs> in that at the very least. Thank you for watching. And again, if you like what you see, click on like, subscribe to my channel, enjoy the racing. Um, there's going to be plenty of spa racing going on uh, this week, this weekend, 24 hours at spa. You're not likely to see anything from us because it's just too hard on my machine to try to participate in a long endurance event and record at the same time. But we may pick and choose some uh, highlights and uh, share with you, especially if we do well, which we're hoping we will. Um, we've got a really good team and uh, we enjoy driving with one another. And at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for. Having a good time because that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching. I know. Spaß machen Rennsport.